the best computer speakers can improve the audio experience from your desktop setup. In this list, we've assembled the best computer speakers based on performance and pricing. Each of the models ranked below will produce a better sounding audio experience than built-in speakers and are a great way to build a more dynamic and entertaining workspace for yourself and the whole family to enjoy. Number 5. Creative Pebble V3. Best Cheap USB-C Speakers. These are priced at around $35. Engineered with clear dialogue audio processing, the Creative Pebble V3 delivers clear and intelligible spoken dialogues when watching YouTube, movies, and TV series without affecting the audio effects happening in the show's background, and without having to turn up the volume unnecessarily. Creative Pebble V3 supports fuss-free connectivity, and minimal cabling with only a single USB-C cable, and without the need for a 3.5mm audio cable, so your desk remains neat and clutter-free from messy wiring. When used with the latest USB-C ports found on newer computers, the Pebble V3 can draw power more efficiently for louder USB audio. For older computers with a USB-A port, it's also included a USB-C to USB-A converter for your convenience. When you're not at your desk, you can also stream music wirelessly via the latest Bluetooth 5.0. With larger custom-tuned 2.25 inches full-range drivers, the Creative Pebble V3 is now 50% louder, and delivers richer, more powerful audio, with enhanced bass reproduction. A version with a subwoofer that delivers more bass is available for only $50. You can find the links in the description for each product. In the fourth position, we have the Edifier R1280 dB, powered Bluetooth bookshelf speakers. Best PC speakers for around $150. Blackwood looks to keep the classic look with a new twist on the style of modern technology. Equipped with all new features of modern powered speakers. New inputs include a new optical, coaxial, and wireless Bluetooth input. Experience HD audio for the first time. Studio sound quality. Naturally fine-tuned sound reproduction from 4-inch bass and 13mm silk dome tweeter. The optical and coaxial inputs help to enable lossless connection to most TV and computers. The remote control helps you to adjust the volume and toggle inputs at your fingertips. The bass and treble control are located on the side of the main speaker. Use the side panel knobs for adjusting the EQ to your liking. Edifier makes a ton of PC speakers, and they're generally very good. We like the R1280 dB Bluetooth bookshelf speaker because it has all the features you want, including optical input and Bluetooth capabilities in a fairly compact package that delivers very good sound for a decent price. Number 3. Audio Engine A5 Plus Powered Speaker Audio Engine's powered A5 speakers have been around for several years and have received some technology upgrades over time. The wired-only version is $399, but if you want to add a Bluetooth option, the price goes up to $499. You can connect to your PC either with a cable or via Bluetooth, but having Bluetooth is nice if you want these speakers to double as standard bookshelf speakers. As you might expect, they have significantly more bass than Audio Engine's smaller A2 Plus, and they resemble traditional monitor speakers. With a built-in 150 watts amp, they deliver clean, dynamic sound with lots of volumes, and will rock a medium-sized room without a problem. Features Analog Class AB power amplifiers with dual analog audio inputs, for connecting multiple devices at once. The A5 Plus system also has true stereo sound in hand-finished wood cabinets, 5-inch custom aramid fiber woofers, and 0.75-inch silk dome tweeters. Control volume using the remote control or the front-mounted knob, and save power when not in use with an auto-sensing sleep mode. Experience room-filling sound from a small footprint with 150 watts of combined peak output. Easily connect the compact audio engine S8 or S6 subwoofer via the RCA variable output. The second product on our list is the Steel Series Arena 3. Steel Series line of Arena PC gaming speakers is available in three models, starting with the entry level Arena 3, which retails for around $95. The Step Up Arena 7 adds tweeters and a separate sub as well as a lighting element for $100 more, while the line topping Arena 9 is a full surround system for $550. The Arena 3 speakers connect to your PC with an analog 3.5mm cable but also feature Bluetooth connectivity for connecting your smartphone or tablet wirelessly. You can tilt the speakers to your liking and easily adjust the volume with a knob on the right speaker. There's also a companion app for Windows PCs to tweak the sound. While there's enough bass to provide decent punch to games, movies, and music, don't expect the bass to go that deep or have a ton of kick to it. If you're looking for a better deal in terms of price and specs, you'll want to go with the Arena 7. 
enhance the audio experience by adjusting nearly every aspect of the sound with Sonar software, using a 10-band parametric EQ and spatial audio for surround sound simulation, and much more. And finally, the first product is the Logitech Z407 Bluetooth computer speakers, with subwoofer and wireless control. The wireless Logitech is around $100. The Logitech Z407 is a compact system with a small subwoofer that doesn't exactly have a premium feel, it's an all-plastic affair and the satellite speakers are quite light, but it's attractive and has some nice features. For starters, it's simple to set up. You can use it in wired mode with an auxiliary 3.5mm cable or connect it to your computer via USB. But the majority of people will connect their devices to it via Bluetooth. It comes with a hockey puck-sized controller, it's powered by two AAA batteries, that doubles as a Bluetooth transceiver between any Bluetooth-enabled audio device and the speaker system. You can skip tracks forward and back by tapping on the top of the puck and turning the dial to control the volume. It's also worth noting that the speakers can be stood up vertically or horizontally. It's a nifty design. The sound is good at close range but the bass isn't exactly tight, you can only expect so much for the price. This would work fine as an audio system in a small room, but just doesn't have the juice to sound good in a larger room, it's touted as having 80 watts of power but power ratings don't mean all that much.